Now I have a whole video, it's two or three minutes long, on eight voice broadcasting laws or eight telemarketing uh, laws that you need to know about. I list them and detail them and you can find out more information about that specifically. But here real quick, uh, can you, le as a business, can you legally call businesses? Yes, you can. Obviously, I'm not a lawyer. You know how it goes. My disclaimer is, yes, you can call businesses, but you got to check with your lawyer first. You got to be compliant with the law, right? That makes sense. So, but I will tell you this. The laws on the affecting businesses' ability to call with voice broadcasting technology are so virtually non-existent compared to uh, B2C or calling people in their homes. You know it's tight on B2C. It's virtually uh, prohibited. It's locked down so tight with the rare exception of like pharmacies or doctors or nonprofit organizations. Even nonprofits have had a lot of their uh, latitude taken away. Politicians have a lot of latitude still. You get that, huh? All right. Um, B2B laws. Okay, usually it's from 8 or 9 in the morning until 9 at night. Uh, you got to respect those time frames. That's a long, that's about 12 or 13 hours of, of when people, when businesses are have the doors open. If you're calling restaurants, uh, you know they're going to be open later than that, but you really don't want to call them later. Uh, because it just gets more suspicious. They go in there. When people check their answer machines, they're wondering, why did someone call me at one in the morning on a business call? They just, it doesn't add up. So you really want to keep your business calls in business hours, no later than 9 p.m. Most states prohibit live calls with a voice broadcasting system. In other words, dialer calls business and says, hi, if you would like to save money on your group health insurance policy, press the number one key to connect to our operators now. Besides being shady on the legal side, it is ineffective. And the reason why is because Cindy, the receptionist, or Joe, the receptionist, he's not a decision maker. Why would he push the number one button other than to cuss you out? Believe me, I've heard it all. I've seen it all.